In a now deleted 19 minute video called Why David Dobrik is a Horrible Human Being, Trisha Paytas attempts to dramatically expose David Dobrik as well as her ex boyfriend Jason Nash and the vlog squad. The video was seen by a lot of people before it was deleted, and fans downloaded the video and re uploaded it. So, what exactly did Trisha say? I'm gonna spill this tea right now on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload, where we tell you about what's happening on YouTube. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Why don't you hit that like and subscribe if you like your tea served hot? Another day, another tearful Trisha Paytas video. But this one was different from the others because Trisha basically drags the entire vlog squad, a group of people who seemed like her friends. It's also a pretty controversial video because David Dobrik also seems like this really happy, positive person who stayed out of drama, even though he's extremely popular. Yet Trisha was saying, that his persona is just a front for who David really is. Now, I don't know David personally, so I'm not gonna say any of these accusations are true or not. I'm just gonna relay to you what Trisha said. Basically, in her exposing video, she addresses a vlog where Jason says that he would buy David a Ferrari if he could set up a threesome with him, Tana Mojo, and Trisha. The vlog then cuts to present day when David Dobrik invites Tana Mojo to his house and asks, Will you have a threesome with Jason and Trisha? David then laughs and his vlog ends. In another vlog that was posted to David's channel on February 2nd, David, Jason, and Tana are seen sitting in a car. Tana asks Jason why he wants to sleep with her, and David says, because he likes broken girls. This joke was obviously directed at Trisha, who is not with them at the time. This vlog has since been deleted from David's channel. Trisha claims that David purposefully made this joke because he knew that it would get a reaction from Trisha, which leads me to believe that maybe this whole feud could be for views, and it's not true. The idea of Jason and Tana hooking up seems to go back a while. Trisha also said that Jason and Tana went on a date for a vlog, and Jason tried to kiss Tana, but Tana pulled away. Jason claimed the kiss was for the video. Trisha has told both David and Jason Nash in the past that she's very insecure about this joke. She hates cheating, she hates the idea of having a threesome with her boyfriend and a 20 year old girl. Yet they kept making jokes about this idea of a threesome between them. Trisha calls David a horrible person and later compares him to serial killer Ted Bundy. Which is like, I feel like a step too far. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I don't personally know David, but to compare anyone to a serial killer like Ted Bundy is a pretty brash accusation. But this isn't all the tea that Trisha spilled. Oh no, there's more. Brandon Cavillo was also exposed because he was allegedly dating a 17 year old girl. Brandon is 24. Brandon responded to this accusation with a statement on Twitter. I just wanted to clear some comments that were made regarding me today, and some assumptions that I've been getting for a while now. My girlfriend is currently 18, and we started dating when she was 18. She's about to turn 19. To be clear, we never dated when she was 17. Please be mindful of how hurtful and damaging your words can be. Thank you. The response was people started looking into it. Don't you just love the internet? And they found a vlog. So the girl's name is Lacey. She said she was 18, 19. She was born in March of 2000, and the vlog was uploaded in February. The truth actually was she was 17 and turning 18, and they had been seeing each other for several months. Brandon then started deleting pictures of Lacey. He also deleted his statement because people were exposing him in the comments below. In the later half of the video, Trisha goes into intimate details about her ex boyfriend Jason's private life. She talks about his kids as well, but I'm not really going to go into any detail about that because I don't think that's fair. They are kids after all. If you want to watch the video for yourself, there are versions of it online where you can hear what Trisha says about it herself. I have a feeling that this particular part of the video might have been the reason why she took it off her channel. Trisha's video had a lot of polarizing responses. On the one hand, people believed her, and on the other, people said she was a hypocrite. Trisha has previously said that she would be intimate with David. David, and she said these things in front of Jason. So it's like, why is she allowed to talk about being intimate with someone other than her boyfriend when Jason isn't allowed to say the same? Jason and Trisha have broken up and feuded before. Back in June, they broke up and made a ton of money on a series of videos about each other, only to get back together a few weeks later. So, guys, it's really hard to tell if this feud is real or not. Trisha, Jason, and David have all been very quiet on social media recently, and David deleted the vlogs that upset Trisha. We will keep you updated on the story as the drama unfolds. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this video with. With some comment replies. Funny man said, I'm eating a potato right now. Ooh, what kind? A chip? Wait, hash brown? Trend Queen said, entertainment at its finest. Are you not entertained? Trend Queen is. 
Fluffy Potato said, I love you, Charlotte. All your information made me pass my history exam. You're a lifesaver. Really? That is amazing. I'm so happy for you. I personally love history, so maybe the fact that I'm passionate about it helps you learn. Samantha Smith said, just found this channel yesterday talking about the dark side of TikTok and now I'm subscribed and can't stop watching. Welcome to the squad. That TikTok video was one of my finer moments. Lily Harmon said, this channel is amazing, been sub for a while, and I just love the reports you do. I do it all for you, Lily, and the rest of you. Thank you for making my job fun. The video is over, and thank you for spending a few of your valuable minutes with us. If you like this video, you'll love the playlist that's currently flashing on your screen. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.